They are American heroes who need help. Now new support for veterans is coming from a project called Fisher House. And if you haven't heard of that, Fisher House is to vets what Ronald McDonald House is to sick kids. And Michigan is finally getting one. Our Paula Tutman this afternoon with those who will benefit the most. For those of us who are sick of construction, this is different. I want you to consider this. Take a look at where that foundation is and imagine a warm place for a family to stay. Perhaps a hot cup of coffee for a hurting veteran. A place of love, free for families. It is an iconic image, the time photograph of the year in 2007. And while you've probably seen the picture, do you know the story of one of the men in it? Fire and uh, explosions weren't anything remotely new to us. Uh, this day just happened to be a little different. At just 18 years old, Lance Corporal Daniel Patrick of Leslie, Michigan, was blown up by a grenade in Fallujah, Iraq. It uh, destroyed part of my hand and my hip, uh, my pelvis, and, and gave me a traumatic brain injury and um, ended my career um, as a Marine. He spent four years in and out of VA hospitals, and during one return visit, instead of having to rent a hotel room, he was invited to stay at a Fisher house. The simplest way to put it is like a Ronald McDonald house for our military and veteran families. It's a great place for families to have respite when their loved one is wounded, ill, or injured. It's also a great way to make sure that our veterans get access to the care that they've earned. Many veterans won't choose VA because they can't bring their families. Now they can. The concept of the Fisher House has been around for 30 years. There are 84 sprinkled throughout the country and six currently under construction, including today ground was ceremoniously broken for Michigan's first the Ann Arbor Fisher House, right next to the VA Ann Arbor healthcare system. It's going to mean faster recovery, the encouragement, and the means to the family also is the support of the other families. They're going through the same thing you're going through and just to have them with you. I was invited to host the groundbreaking program with dignitaries, lawmakers, veterans. Now construction has actually already started. But today, at the ceremonial groundbreaking, a 28 shovel affair. Some 34,000 families have been served by the various Fisher houses in the nation. On any given evening, 1,100 families are near their loved ones who are receiving treatment at a VA hospital. And they don't have to worry about a hotel room, sleeping in a lobby or a car, or even a hot meal. In a state that has long awaited its own Fisher house, finally, construction everyone can get behind. I laid down in that bed and the next thing I knew I wake up and it was about 11 hours later and I always tell people that was the best night's sleep that I ever had. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Yeah, Paula, what a story. Anything veterans need, we owe it to them. Now fundraising continues for a second Fisher House to be built in Michigan. The next location would be in Detroit next to the John Dingle VA.